So in this video, yet another problem with the Elgato 4KX video capture interface. Now, just before I get into showing you the problem here, I'm not entirely sure how many devices are affected by this particular problem. However, I'm going to assume that it is going to be all Apple Mac silicon devices. So anything with M1, M2, M3 and M4 in, I'm assuming that all of those are going to be affected with this particular problem. And this particular problem is the fact that the 4KX will now no longer record Rec.709 as the color space, whereas it had done previously, but after the official Elgato update, it stopped doing it. And that's what I'm going to show you here. Plus, I'm also going to show you what it should look like. So to show you what it should look like, I'm going to be using an Atomos Ninja here. This is a Ninja V or a Ninja 5, whatever you want to call it. And this does correctly record Rec.709 as the 4KX used to do before the Elgato update of the software for it on Mac Apple Silicon. Anyways, what I'm going to do is just dive into showing you the setup here, show you the differences, and then I will come back and do a little bit of blurb at the end. Now, just before I go any further, this shot of my Ninja will show you that it is recording in Rec.709. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you on the computer is the version of the Elgato capture device utility and also the firmware just so that we know that I am definitely up to date. So this is the actual utility open here. Now if I just come up and if I do check for updates, as we can see, I'm up to date as far as the utility is concerned. And then if I click into update firmware, I am also on the latest firmware as well. So to be clear, the software is the most up-to-date version and also the firmware is on its most up-to-date version. Okay, so this is now OBS and the first thing that I will do is just to make sure that I am on the latest version. So I'm going to go to check for updates and yes, I am on the latest version. I'm just okay that. So to be clear, I am on the latest versions of the software or the Mac OS software for the Elgato 4KX. I'm also on the latest firmware for the Elgato 4KX and I am on the latest version of OBS. Now let me just dive straight into here and show you the settings. So as we can see, I've got a picture on the go here from a PS5 and on this particular scene, the scene says Elgato 4KX. So let me just show you that it is indeed the 4KX. So if I go to video capture device here, just go into there. On device up here, as we can see, there's a number of options, but it is actually on Elgato 4KX. So we're definitely on the Elgato 4KX. Now in this particular instance, I'm in 4K UHD and I'm also at 59.94 frames per second because I'm obviously like recording that NTSC here for the PS5. Now if we come down here, it says input format NV12. Now I'm, I'll mention something about that in a second, okay, because that is something else that's wrong here, but this video is not about this that bit that's wrong. This video is about this bit that's wrong, which says color space. Now, if I click inside here, there is only one option. We should have the option of Rec.709, but what we're getting here is CS601. Now, that CS601, I'm assuming, is Rec.601, because CS601 doesn't mean anything to me, but I think that's probably just a mistake, and it means Rec.601. Now, as far as the video range is concerned, we've only got the option of Limited. Now, in this instance, it wouldn't matter because Limited is what we would want to choose, either in 601 or 701 anyway but the big problem as we've seen here there is no rec 709 now just quickly before I go any further see when it says here NV12 I can absolutely guarantee you that it is not recording MV12. It is indeed recording MJPEG. I have actually done some very exhaustive testing to categorically prove that at 4K60, and I believe 4K30 as well, it is recording with MJPEG when it shouldn't do because it should be using MV12. But the important two things to note here is that one, NV12 isn't being used and MJPEG is. 
But the second thing to note about that is the fact that there are things going on which aren't being indicated. So just to be clear, there is stuff going on here and you do not know that it's going on. And that really is the big problem here. But nonetheless, for the sake of this video, this is the problem we're looking at, which is REC 601 or CS 601, but definitely no REC.709. Okay, so this is now DaVinci Resolve and this is going to allow us to see the differences between these two clips one from the ninja and obviously one from the 4kx so what i'm going to do here is just go to the project settings and quickly show you that i am indeed in rec.709 now even if i were in the wrong color space we would still see unique differences between these two clips because there are unique differences between the two of them however and just for anybody who wanted to see the settings i am obviously in rec.709 now what it is the bottom clip in the timeline this is from the 4kx so if i just mute the track as you can see it goes missing so what that is telling us is that the right hand side of the picture there that is the 4kx so anything on the right hand side of the rectangle there is the 4kx now if i unmute that that then obviously means that the left hand side that's the ninja and i've obviously titled them accordingly as we can see there so let me just switch these back on also as i've got the 4kx selected there if you look at the properties for it i've actually recorded it in apple prores 422 hq which if i switch over to the ninja is the same format for the ninja that is also apple prores 422 hq now i do appreciate the actual clip there for the 4kx is still only going to be 8-bit internally although it's now wrapped into an, a 10-bit codec however that has actually got nothing to do with the color space what i'm doing here is just using the same codec and making things as fair as possible by using the same codecs for both of the recordings anyways now that we know that it's the ninja on the left and it's the 4kx on the right what i'm going to do here is just go full screen now as we will see here on the right hand side which is the 4kx it's a bit darker so that's obviously going to affect things like shadows and such now if i just come out of here i'll just go to somewhere else randomly here i'll just go full screen there once again as we can see here it is clearly darker on the right hand side which is the 4kx and then if i just randomly go somewhere else go full screen same thing it is darker on the right hand side obviously that will affect things to do with even like you know the colors as well as like the luma so both luma and chroma are affected here so things like brightness and also like shadows and darkness and stuff will be affected now what i'm going to do uh, i'm just going to play this clip all the way through it might be about a minute and a half long but it's worth me just playing this all the way through so you can see clearly what's going on as this clip starts moving around so let me just start this and you can have a good look at it
okay so to the blurb at the end of the video then and this one is going to be like super easy because you've just seen exactly what the problem is now the problem is that the elgato 4k x has got a number of issues with it with regarding apple silicon max and also by extension ipads but in this video i've shown you one very specific problem and that is that this thing will not record rec.709 now that right there is a big problem because technically what it is recording is completely wrong now there may be some people out there who may be thinking to themselves but hold on a minute dave whether it's 601 or 709 we're still seeing a picture there and yes we are seeing a picture there however the simple problem that we've got with this one is whilst this is recording in 601 what we are not going to be getting are certain things like our shadows and our highlights recorded correctly which then will lead to things either maybe blowing out or things crushing and stuff like that the simple fact is we are not recording the correct color space and that will have adverse effects upon your picture now if you think it is okay to record like that then fair enough that's your opinion and you are entitled to it but there is one thing that is not down to opinion here and the simple fact is, is that elgato are not recording technically correct pictures with the 4k x now there may be some of the people out there going but hold on a minute dave that problem could be with obs well it could be well i've been asking both obs and elgato a bunch of questions very specifically about what you've just seen in this video on a number of other things neither of them are answering any of my questions and believe me i have gone right out of my way to get in touch with them on multiple platforms to get the answers to my questions and stuff they are not answering them so with elgato not answering my questions i can only assume the reason why they're not answering is because their answers are going to say yes dave you're right it's our fault because if it wasn't their fault why wouldn't they be saying well hold on dave is is why that's happening now i can understand obs may not be getting back in touch because it's a free product and i don't expect anybody giving away free software to be giving also with free software great technical support however as far as elgato were concerned i've spent well enough money with them just as everybody else has done his bought stuff off them to basically demand good technical support so if they're not in the wrong gear why aren't they answering the responses to my you know proper questions about these proper problems anyway that bit aside the one thing we can definitely say here is that the 4kx has got a number of problems on apple silicon mac and by extension also on the new ipad pros and stuff like that now the thing is i don't use it on windows maybe none of these things exist exist on the windows and if that's you know if that's the case then great it's it probably would be a fantastic capture interface for people on windows but on apple silicon mac there's far too many problems with it now i'll cut this video where it where i'm up to here because i think i've got the point across really well and also i've made other videos about other problems however for anybody interested in like the problems here to do with the 4kx the next video or one of the next two or three that i'll do about the problems is going to be how this thing is now not recording mv12 when it's in the 4k modes for 60 frames per second and it is now actually using mjpeg it is absolutely destroying the picture before you've recorded it once again something that didn't use to happen just to be clear this problem with like you know no rec.709 and the fact that this is now recording mjpeg when it says it when it when it actually is saying it's recording mv12 but it's not it's recording mjpeg neither of those two problems were there when it, when i first bought the card these problems only happened after I updated the software. So after the beta software, I did the proper full official Elgato software. And after that particular update, that's when all these problems started to care. And, and obviously the kick onto that is the problem that I've now got with my iPad Pros as well. Although there might be a bit of a solution to that one, which hasn't come from Elgato, but has possibly come from somebody in the comments section to one of my videos, which I'm going to have to test out. And if that proves to be right, I'll do a video about it and give full credit to the person who's mentioned it in the comment section to one of my other videos anyways i'm getting off um, if you're like an elgato super fanboy out there i've got no interest in any stupidity from you in the comments below however for anybody else out there who's obviously sane and level-headed and stuff like that let me know in the comments what you've thought of all this and what's going on with this particular captured interface by elgato i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now